Speaking of getting the hell out of here, that plant can get the hell out of my face. Well, hello there, and welcome once again to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, where it is time to go further into these ruins and find out what lay beyond. You tell I love Metroid. Okay, come on. Hopper attacks with razor sharp talons, pounces from a distance. I see it likes to spit on you, too. Didn't mention that part, but it's fine. It's not like that's a real threat to me. I mean, let's be real. Bioform is encased in solid ice and is blocking entry to the tunnel. High temp shots may shatter it. In other words, I gotta come back here later. Yeah, unfortunately, even though her energy blasts should be high temperature, apparently they're not high temperature enough. No, it has to be a special kind. Very nice. I got an energy tank. The game just handed it to me on a silver platter. I love it. Panel mountings appear to be weak. Maybe ripped off with enough force. In other words, this. Did I mention how satisfying that feels, being able to use the mouse wheel for that? Rayonian data translated. I mean, yeah, it probably doesn't feel- it doesn't really feel as good as using the nunchuck, I will admit. But it still- it still makes perfect sense to just mouse wheel up and then mouse wheel down. I like it. But whatever. I see. Guess I gotta just jump down. I was... I was sort of doubting myself. I don't know why that was. I guess I was going to the right, and this time I gotta go to the left. Go to the right, go to the left, get down to that. I'm glad I did, though, because I got an energy tank. I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Energy tanks up in the war effort, don't you know? Well, you know, the war against the space pirates. And Dark Samus. The war against phase on in general, I guess. Those ones are gonna be hard to get a scan of. Unless you can just get them when they're docile. Hanging on the ceiling. Yeah, this one is a missile door. How magical, isn't it? What in the world are you? Shellbug attacks by firing face on spine. Soft body is vulnerable to attack. Naturally. Probably the weakest phazon based creature in existence. The statue contains fuel gel and could explode if contents inside were disturbed. You mean like this? <laughs> Ow. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that's the game's way of slapping me across the face for doing that. Funny though. Right. You gotta be in hyper mode for that. Earths are vulnerable to phazon based weaponry. In other words, this. There you go. No problem. It was well worth the little energy reserve. You can get health back easily enough in this game. It's not like this is Heroes mode on Zelda. Ugh. Ah, right. This is where things get real. I remember this. It's where they show up. I love the music though. In fact, I'm gonna shut up for a minute and let the music play. I just love it. it. Sounds differently than on actual hardware, or at least what I remember. Uh oh. Let's say, come on. They use whips. Silicus Hunter. Target can generate a personal cloaking field around its body. In other words, invisible. Hey, quit whipping me. Do I look like your whipping boy? Evidently they think I do. There you go. Ah, darn it. I'm just gonna pepper you, is that okay? Jeez. Tough crowd. How about I just come back tougher? Oh, you can't seem to keep up with me, can ya? gonna hit you in the arse a couple million times I love that intense music though that particular track beautiful really captures the intensity of tougher enemies you know oh! 
Sorry if I disturbed your eardrums. Ah, aiming is great, isn't it? I need to quit gushing about Prime Hag. Okay, Age of Science! Would anyone like to see me do videos where I'm basically just reading these? Stone structure is retracted into the wall and is no longer active. Hallway X is gridded. I mean, I could just do videos where I'm just reading through the logs if anyone would actually want to see that. Could be interesting. But I figure you're here for the gameplay, at least right now. So that's what I'm here for. Right, okay. <laughs> There's my ticket. I knew there was a morph ball tunnel, I do remember that much. And believe it or not, I'm not looking anything up about this game, I just genuinely remember stuff. Go figure. Yeah, it's insidious. They latch onto you so that it can eat you. It's a symbiotic relationship. Unfortunately, it's one I disagree with because I'm on the menu. Did I mention how satisfying this feels? Because it feels satisfying. All right. <laughs> this is where the grapple beam becomes the grapple swing. Why she couldn't do this before is anyone's guess. Maybe you couldn't support her weight before. Armor suit upgrade acquired. Grapple swing online. After all, Samus does have quite a lot of weight on her. What? I'm referring to her suit. Don't look at me like that. Honestly. Some people. Okay, that's great about the heavy stone door. Korba. Works with snatchers to feed. Vulnerable to concussive blasts. Yeah, you can morph ball and bomb your way out of it if you need to. Works with a Korba to feed. Vulnerable to concussive blasts. Swing across. Now that is fun. Satisfying to say the least. Although I'm going back in there. Because missile tank. I think what I gotta do is I gotta get caught on purpose and then I gotta go to the left. Seems about right. Yeah, they start float they start making you float. I guess this is that clown. You'll float too. Everyone floats down here. Alright. You fulfilled your purpose. I have no more need for you. I love me some missile action. And anything that expands upon that is greatly appreciated. Then again, missile expansions seem to be the most common in the Metroid games. Or at least in the Prime games especially. I noticed that they seem to hand those out like pop, like uh, rock candy. I was, tr I was going for pop rocks, but you know. Dumb. Oh, I see. Darn it. Hey, quit hogging the Z-targeting. You jerk. Let's see a target the, let's see a hog the Z-targeting now, mother fricker. Mother fricker. Darn it, for some reason it's not letting me latch on. Why can't I latch on? Give me the good stuff, man. I probably have to go up there, don't I? Yeah, that makes sense, but at the same time. It annoys the piss out of me. Alright, hallway X is granted. Fair enough. I'm guessing that's not always gonna be the case, is it? Darn it. Wait. I think maybe you have to make your own way up. Yep. Instead of cursing the game out, maybe I should just actually look around. Might do me good, you know? See? Look at that. Simple. Although I want to see what's down here, too. Is there anything down here? No. Luckily, I can double jump back up. This is certainly teaching you a lot. Actually, what's up there? Go back. This is also teaching you that you can turn on a dime. Fortunately, it's also teaching you that not all doors can be circumvented with your current equipment. Alloys weak to extreme cold. In other words, I'm gonna need the ice missile. That's right, you don't get the ice beam in this game. Ice missile. 
I guess they were trying to come up with an origin for the ice missiles of Metroid Fusion. Which makes sense. Kinda. Okay, break that. Break everything. It seems to break apart the... Well, a lot of the roots that are also bound to it. Which is what allows you to travel through there, because otherwise they would block your path. So, you better just rip them all out for good measure, you know? This is going swimmingly. I'm stumbling on all the right spots. I've gotten to the optional areas before I've gotten to the mandatory areas. Well, more or less, where they fall. Where they properly fall, anyway. I like to think I'm going into the right areas, I mean. Oh, what do we have here? Abnormality in this unnatural ice formation. Phazon signature's present. Yeah, it sounds about right. Ah, look at that. Neato. Missile tank. Yes, please. Like I said, they just give these out like rock candy. It's amazing, isn't it? You know what? It would probably be easier for me to just say they hand these out like Tic Tacs. You again? Wait, you're a different one. What are you? you like the ba a baby version or something? Reptilicus teleports across short distances, highly aggressive and territorial. Yeah, they're not hunters, they're just regulars. Pathetically weak. Although, seems to be just as capable. Perhaps I should not underestimate them too much. Otherwise, I might just get hurt. I'm not even gonna say I might just die, because let's be real. They don't even do that much damage to you. Well, you know, they can scratch me a little. That would probably be a little inconvenient, you know? Just saying. Now, I'm not sure where I was supposed to go next, if I'm supposed to stay on this planet or not. There was that other planet, of course, to consider. No, wait, I was supposed to go towards the Galactic Federation site, wasn't I? Yeah, now that I remember. Yep. It was that way. And probably with this grapple swing, now I can. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother fighting those. Those are piss ants anyway. The frame rate seems to be varying up, though. I never bothered using the setting changes that I would sometimes do to make the frame rate smoother because it had been running basically perfectly until now, but maybe just in case, for the future, I should consider it. Oh, crap. Ah, damn it. I couldn't even scan them. It wants to scan everything but them, you know? Unfortunate. That's the pitfall of Z-targeting. Sometimes you can't always scan what you're actually looking to scan. Down vessel located. Griffin class frigate is identified as the GFS the Theseus. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce things clearly. All right, let's get through. Let's get to this. Obviously, we can't go in there directly because the power is down. Got to bomb our way in. Kaboom! Well, they don't have to worry about me being a miscreant. I'm here for a good cause. The bombing is for a good cause, you see. Well, I can't go any further there. Probably have to turn the power on and then that'll be active or something. Oh, this thing. Oh, I despise those things. Clamp locks in place. Explosives may damage them. Come on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to scan the enemy. You know, you know damn well what I'm looking at. What the hell? Can it even be scanned? Jeez. I just want to scan. What the hell's going on here? Okay, screw this. Okay. Damn it. Okay, to hell with this. Let's just get these down anyway. I don't even know how to beat that thing. Okay, now it's scanning. Atomic corporeal energy that slows explosive segments of its form. That's great, but how do I beat it? Okay, they are sustained at their core, which generates a constant supply when an abundance of energy when near sources of energy of an opposite polarization, the atomic will respond aggressively. 
Fair enough. You know what? I bet I know a great way to kill any enemy. Nope. Jeez, even phase-on mode doesn't do anything to them. I guess I better get the hell out of their way. My weapons are worthless here. Unit is one of series of power rods. Connect all rods to restore power. I guess they're just an environment hazard for this. What an a-hole. Alright, let's get this done. Luckily, they don't seem to be very aggressive about following me. Well. The world? Okay, I guess it has to be in a certain order. My bad. What the frick? Maybe it has to be... Okay, maybe I have to do the opposite sides first. Go to hell, you stupid thing. There. Jeez. Now maybe the bombardier can chill a little bit. Or not. It has no chill. But luckily, at least I got this. Hopefully, I can do this a little more easily. Or not. It's never going to be easy. Okay. I, I was about to say, it's probably never going to be completely easy, but at least I can do it a little bit better now. Send the signal out. You have downloaded the map for this area. Awesome. Pretty awesome, man. Ooh, nice. I got more map points. Now we're talking. I can deck over there. And the power's back on, too. Very nice. Samus, the satellite data has revealed two Darn it. Fine. Okay. They must be supplying power to the sea shield. Probably, yeah. If these targets are eliminated, the shield will be removed. That is very logical. We are uploading the location of each energy signature and nearby landing sites. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Of course, I already saw the landing po points, but uh, I appreciate you showing me where to go. That's always nice. I should probably go to that one first. I would imagine. Then again, I'm just making a wild assumption, so I have no idea. Okay, now I need to... I want to scan this creature. This creature, not this fuel gel. Thank you. Gel puffer consumes and emits fuel gel fumes. Explodes when ruptured. In other words... Uh, geez. That has a much longer reach than I thought. I was about to say they're like those toxin puffers from previous Metroids, but no, that is so much worse. If you're anywhere within the same zip code, you'll take damage. Now Syndicate's hatch can only be opened from the inside. Fair enough. Gotta be an inside job. None of this outside crap. Got to say. Yeah, look. Look who it is. It's a familiar friend. Or so we think. Anyway. Magical. Excellent. Ah, jeez. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I should probably just be careful. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Don't, don't fall. That would be really stupid if you fell now after you went through all the trouble. Come on. Dragnal Adult, resistant to most weaponry. Physical stress can destroy it. In other words, this. They are really taking advantage of these, aren't they? Luckily, I can do them. With mostly a degree of accuracy. And more missile expansions. I started with only five, and now I've got 20. Now that is firepower. And it's gonna get even better once I ice them up. Unfortunately, that also requires icing an old friend. Feels bad, man. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh well. This is... How old of a game now? Oh, it's well over a decade, at least. So... Probably not that 
surprising. Jeez, oh, come on. Let's be real, they were probably either gonna be dead or elsewise. And he's clearly not dead, so that just leaves the one option. You know? Probably should have been pretty obvious, unfortunately. Right. Speaking of the obvious, let's do this. Yep, this is where the mandatory fights come into play. <laughs> oh, you're surrounding me, are you? That's fine, I can just do this. Actually, the charge beams seem to be more effective. Weirdly enough. And again, maybe I should just keep shooting. Missile attack! Go. Here you go, buddy. Of course, just touching them hurts. And of course, getting spat upon is really gonna hurt. Hey, buddy. Too bad I can't knock you over the edge. Oh well, I'll just have to destroy you instead. Okay, if you insist. There you go, buddy. Probably less harmful for me in the long run. Okay, come on, give me that energy. Give me that sweet, sweet energy that I crave so much. Because I'll probably die if I don't get it. Literally. That is my health right there. Don't you just love the beautiful geometry? I mean, yeah, it might have aged a little bit, but it actually has aged much better than the first two since, unlike many developers, Retro Studios actually took advantage of the Wii's hardware. Go figure. So many third-party third party titles of the Wii that look like PS2 or worse. So disgraceful in my opinion. But what are you gonna do, right? Speaking of which, let's look around. There's not really anything waiting for me under here, but... You know, it always... Okay, here's a really good close look. About as close as you're gonna get. Nice statues. Magnar class war golem is offline and trapped within stone mass. The unit is beyond repair. That's unfortunate. Centuries ago, these beacons were designed to guide ships safely to landing during harsh weather. Incomplete. Sculpting process was halted 328.9 years ago. That's unfortunate. Weathered altar ruins were once part of a much larger structure. Its original purpose is unknown. Pillar ruins are composed of organic stone that is native to Brio, or originally placed to greet travelers. Well, I mean, it's greeting me. The Spayak bush is an indigenous strain of plant life that produces venom within its leaves. In other words, do not touch it. Unless you want to get hurt. And I don't want to get hurt. So let's just get the hell out of here. Immediately. Just go ahead and save. I may as well. Even though I rely on save states. That's probably gonna get that's probably gonna screw me in the long run if I do that. Because I might get to the point where save states cause the game to become unstable over time. Due to never actually refreshing its state. You know what I mean? Let's just get out of here. Or you know, out of this area, not out of the planet. We're not out of the planet just yet. It's time for the next part of Brio. First, a nice little transitional cutscene to try to mask the loading screens. This is especially masking the loading time. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Unfortunately. See that? Covered in ice, who do you think it might be related to? Let me show you. Phygisian class gunship. GF records identify pilot as Rundus. The engines are still warm. Yeah. File stonework bears the mark of Scan, a gladiator in the primal's armies. Structure. Ragnall Hive. Scan indicate, scans indicate no activity within. Hive has been abandoned. In other words, I wouldn't get any strategic advantage out of shooting it. 
and I probably will anyway. Fuel gel. Substance is highly volatile. Contact with gel could cause damage. By volatile, it means... It catches fire easily. If you didn't know that already, that's what volatile means. It means... Well, it means it's... It's very reactive in an... Well, as a general term. It's just highly reactive. That's what volatile means. But in this case, it catches on fire really easily because it is a fuel gel. It's meant to be used as fuel, so of course it's going to be combustible. And fairly easily, too. That's usually how they go. Yeah, I think you need the... Stonework head is blocking access to a transport shaft, unable to enter from this side. Ah, right. For some reason, I thought that was the... The homing... No, the split missile. I don't... I don't remember what it's called. Hello. One of these things again. Or some of these things again. I better take advantage of the side hop. I don't do that enough. There's a reason why you still need to target them in a mouse-controlled mod. Because you need to be able to turn around them. The game is made with that in mind. And it's a, hell, it's a hell of a lot easier on you if you learn how to master it. Which I clearly have not been doing. I need to make better use of technique. Not just shooting wildly and hoping for the best, you know? Fuel gel pumping station is operational and working at maximum capacity. That's good. Abnormal energy signatures, de signatures detected beyond this frozen formation. High temp beams can melt the, uh, melt the ice. That's great. Fortunately, I don't have a high temperature beam, apparently. Because Samus's beam isn't good enough. Processing chamber is constantly distributing field gel throughout through the pumping piping networks. Though not a read, clearly. Rotational valve operational. Ignition of field gel or activate emergency release mechanism. In other words, you gotta do both of them at the same time. Well, not really at the same time, just fast enough. You have a window of opportunity to do it before it fizzles out. You gotta do both of them. Well, isn't that nice? More paintings. Age of Schism. Data moved to logbook for review. Thank you kindly. Excellent. These things again. Which means there's a... There's a Jod monster nearby. Who isn't going to be very friendly. No, sir. What happens if you go on the lower one? What the? Is this where I was supposed to go? Because I kind of want to go to optional areas first. That's kind of my style, you know? I want upgrades, man. The more the better. Alright. I'm guessing it's because this is going to be trickier to get to, the top one. Yeah, you really gotta thread that needle. Especially when they're trying to pull you towards it. Ah, damn it. Let's try this again. Luckily, I can try this as many times as I want. As long as I stay away from the creature's jaw, I can do this relatively low risk. Okay, move, move. There we go. There, I almost did. Damn it. It's actually harder than it looks, believe me. They want to pull you. It's a struggle. It's a struggle for dominance. Come on, come on. Son of a bitch. 300 kills. Okay, that's great. Well, at least I'm killing things, and I guess that's its own reward. Well, also the recognition for having done so. I'm guessing this isn't actually I'm supposed to do this. Maybe I'm just supposed to get close enough that I can sort of get over there. Yeah, I'm starting to think that's what I should be doing. I'm just wasting my time. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna get dangerous, though. There you go. Sorry to disappoint you. Huh. You were so close and yet so far. Sucks to be you! Oh, it sucks to be you! Baby! I really gotta say, sucks to be you! Let's get the hell out of here. 
Speaking of getting the hell out of here, that plant can get the hell out of my face. So yeah. Let's pull it. Pull it, Samus. There you go. Eh, I didn't need to scan it anyway. I doubt it adds to the logbook. Which is basically what I care about. For completionist purposes, anyway. Of course, it's mostly boss fights you gotta worry- Oh, this is where things get real. I'm actually gonna extend this beyond where it would normally end, just because this is a very important plot moment. Trust me. Notice how you have to use the phase on hyper mode to do this. Watch this. Yeah. Hyper mode is corrupting. Go figure. There we go. Just get everything. Well, I may as well just shoot it out. I could just wait for it to auto vent, but why would I do that? Yeah. Samus, we just received very abnormal readings from your life support systems. Are you okay? Perfectly okay. As a precaution, we are downloading the diagnostic data from your suit to further analyze this situation. We will contact you again if we have any more information. This is another part of hyper mode. If you stay in it for too long after this point, it'll start corrupting and then it'll build up. In a way, that's actually a good thing because it means you can get a lot more bang for your buck. For one energy tank, which you basically have to have one energy tank because it will have to vent itself completely due to the fact that it's corrupted, you will get so much more firepower, but at the cost of basically losing an entire energy tank. You can't just turn it on, fire one shot, and then turn it... I mean, turn it on, fire a shot, then turn it back off again if it's corrupted. And you know what's ironic about all this? Look at this. If you go into the phase on, it actually heals you. That just shows a lot, doesn't it? Your PED suit will allow you to absorb this phase on into your body and utilize it as energy. Yeah. I guess that's the non corrupted type of phase on. It's relatively docile form. But anyway. That's going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like living up to its actual name. In other words, spread it around like phase on corruption, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.